Hi, welcome to your Living Yin Yin Yoga practice. I'm Truth Robinson, a doctor of Chinese medicine. And today we're going to be talking about the fire element in Chinese medicine. Now the fire element is made up of four organs. It's made up of heart, small intestine, pericardium, and triple energizer. So it's four all together here. Pericardium and triple energizer is kind of a funny organ for you guys to understand, which I get it. The pericardium is just that um, connective tissue that surrounds the heart, but we see it as like the gatekeeper or the protector of the heart. The triple energizer is considered to be the, the vehicle for us to get qi to all the organs of the body. We say yuan qi and originates in Ming Men, the little space between the kidneys. Another way of thinking about it is just the interstitial spaces around all the organs as well. So today we're going to be talking about the fire element, which is linked to the season of summer. And summer is this all expanding, expansive feeling, this feeling of really being at your absolute zenith, like every single system of your body just perfectly tuned, just expressing itself perfectly, just like nature. All the flowers are blooming, the sun is shining, the plants are just exploding with life. Very important part of the cycle, absolutely, but like all parts of the cycle, eventually, it also needs to come to an end as well. And so today, we're going to start with a pose to open out through our wrists. And this is for our pericardium. So you're going to get a bolster and we're going to come into a squat. Now, you may not have any props and that's OK. Um, if you can, just get a few cushions. You can do this just with the, the, the legs crossed and something underneath the bum instead. But a little bit of an added bonus, you can use some props. So I've got a couple of blocks here, which is quite good. And then we're going to come into this squat. And then bring the palms together like so. And what we're feeling is we want to get a little sensation along the back of the arm here, our, our flexes for the wrist. And we can start to get just a little bit of sensation and that's it. And we're going to just start by getting super grounded and present in our practice. So just closing your eyes and just allowing yourself to really come into your breath. Hmm. Really create some space between your breaths, deep breath. And take one more big breath in and big breath out. And just going to release this now. So removing yourself from whatever position you are in and you're just going to come to lie in the back. We're just going to rebound for a second. If you want to place anything underneath your thighs, you're so welcome to. But otherwise, just come to lie on your back and just take a moment to feel the experience of rebounding out of that. 
And in particular, draw your awareness to the back of the, the wrist, the back of the forearm, just like that, along the flexors. Mm. And just feel that hyaluronic acid rushing back into the area. You might feel a little swelling or a little discomfort there, totally normal. And then slowly this area is just restructuring. And then take a big breath in now. And big breath out. Drawing those knees up into the chest, a little windscreen wipe from the side to side with those knees. And then rolling over to one side, you're just gonna push yourself up sideways. Beautiful. Now we're gonna make our way into our next pose, which I call owl pose. Now this pose is a little bit tricky. And so what we wanna try and do is get the left leg on top of the right leg somehow. And so I usually would say just come into a shoelace position, but that's necessarily not gonna be good for everybody. So left leg on top of the right leg in your shoelace. You may have to come into a half shoelace with the right leg out in front like so, or you might need to bring that left ankle over onto the knee a little bit to find your position. The idea here is you wanna try and have that right hip anchored down a little bit and that right leg in external rotation. So just rolling out a little bit. And so for you, wherever you are, I'm gonna come into shoelace because that's quite comfortable for me. You may also want to have something over to the left hand side, like so. And then you're going to place your right palm facing up underneath your bum. So if you've got any rings on or whatever, you're definitely going to have to take them off. And then with the hand underneath the buttocks, you're just going to lean to the left hand side. So if we're getting into our flexors before on the underside of our forearm, we're now getting into those extensors on the up, upper side. And so we're not gonna force that arm straight. If anything, that arm is just gonna be a little bit relaxed. So just try and make it as floppy as possible. And then you're leaning over to the left-hand side and you'll notice when I leant over to the side, I didn't go that far. It was only a little bit that I went, so not so far. And then the left ear drops down into the left shoulder ever so slightly. And now you're getting into more of your uh, triple energizer up into your shoulder as well. And then you're just gonna allow yourself to sink here and get present again. And we just wanna become aware of that feeling of being in our heart space, this feeling landscape. And so when you're sitting here in this landscape, you'll notice that there are thoughts that come, but each of those thoughts will have a slight emotional inclination. It'll either be a slight craving or a slight aversion, and either one is gonna to start to make that truth that spirit just flicker a little bit more dimly and so just work on trying to bring that heart fire that light of your being brighter and brighter so if you close your eyes you really become aware of that gentle breath calming and going let that be the one point of the focus and bring you into this beautiful state of just meditation contemplation on the nowness the is
keep making your way back into your breath. Find that stillness. Big breath in now. And exhale, dropping the head forward, shifting the weight forward, removing the hand from underneath the buttocks. And then we're just gonna come to lie on our back again. So we're gonna make our way back into that rebound. So legs over that bolster and just very gently bring yourself to lie straight back. And really bring your sensation into that right shoulder down into that right arm. You're just feeling this nice big release. Mm. Take a big breath in and big breath out. I'm going to release yourself from this. So during the knees up, little windscreen wipe from side to side. And then you're just going to roll to the left or the right hand side, whichever, and then bring yourself back up again. We're just going to come into that owl pose on the other side. So you're going to bring that right knee up on top of the left knee like so. Now, of course, if you have any other variation that's gonna feel better for you, maybe left leg extended out in front of you, whatever you did on the other side, do that. You may need something for your elbow to sit on, but probably not. Left hand underneath the bum, palm facing up. And then you're just leaning over to that right hand side ever so slightly. And you just wanna feel a little bit of sensation going from the back of the wrist up towards the elbow. And then as you drop the right ear to the right shoulder, you're gonna get into your trapezius as well. Maybe just turn the head to look down instead of looking up, just looking down a little bit. And we're gonna reestablish ourselves in that sense of presence, coming back into that awareness of your sense of isness, your beingness. And again, more and more as we allow ourselves to move away from those distracting thoughts, we're gonna create this steady and still flame for that spirit to burn brightly.
notice where the mind has gone. Notice that desire to create color or illustration to this moment and it's the mind's natural desire out of wanting to entertain itself. And notice again a slight emotional inclination towards maybe a craving or aversion, creating a little feeling of wanting something that's not here or not wanting something that is here. And in this way, you just keep coming back into the isness, into this moment. One last big breath in now. And breath out. Dropping the chin to the chest, just shifting the weight forward, just removing that hand from underneath the buttocks. And then you're gonna to come to lie on your back again. So, bolster maybe underneath your thighs. If you don't have a bolster, that's fine. Just come into lie on your back. And every time you rebound, really try and find this position of just absolute stillness if you can. You may feel the desire to draw the knees up, to release your lower back, all these kind of things, so normal. But what you'll notice as you're lying here is that sensation usually just dissipates on its own. Nothing you need to do. Deep breath. Take a big breath into your heart space. And as you exhale, really feel it as a clearing out. <sighs> and drawing those knees up into the chest. A little windscreen wipe of those knees from side to side. And then just roll straight to one side. You're gonna push yourself up. Now this next pose we're gonna come into can be done in a variety of ways. Um, you can do this from a puppy pose. I'm gonna show you sort of the easiest no prop variation and then start to move into um, more props as we go and so you're gonna come onto uh, all fours dropping those elbows down bring the hands together and walk your elbows out in front of you until you can get the head down onto the ground notice my buttocks is just a little bit back behind my knees but notice I'm not in a child's pose and then you're just gonna bend those elbows and you're trying to get into your triceps. So that's the sensation we're looking for. Now you can do this in a variety of ways. If you do have the bolster, you can actually place the elbow down on top of the bolster like so, and then do the exact same thing. So I call this prostration variation. And so with those elbows bent, head is dropping down and you're gonna get the same kind of experience here. So you find your variation, whatever is gonna work for you. And we won't be staying here for as long, just because if you are in puppy, it's not gonna be as comfortable. But if you ever wanna come out, feel free to come out. Don't feel obliged to stay in the, in the pose.
Keep coming back to your breath. And then take one more big breath in. And breath out. You're gonna make your way out of this, just releasing those hands. Maybe just coming to lie straight onto your back. If you've got the bolster there, you can always lie on it. And then just the legs extended, just relaxed. And just give yourself a few moments just to get present again. Feeling that release from the triceps. Take one more big breath in. And big breath out. The next pose we're gonna come into is a sphinx or seal pose. Now the reality is, is you could use this for a few different poses, for stomach or uh, for sequences, sorry, for stomach or kidney as well. But we're gonna be using this one specifically for our heart. So you come to roll onto your front and elbows underneath the shoulders like so in our sphinx. If you want to make this a little bit stronger, you can get some props and bring the elbows on top of the props like so. Or if you really, really want, it's quite strong, so be mindful, you can separate your arms and lift yourself up into your uh, seal pose. But please only go to the point of first sensation. You don't need to go that far. So there should be a point that you can get to that you can feel completely relaxed in your body, that you don't need to fight, that you feel super comfortable exactly where you are. And the sensation is more going to be in the front body, ideally, rather than the back body. If it's in the back body, that's skeletal compression. You can't stretch that. That's just one bone pressing into another bone. And you wanna get sensation along the front body as much as possible. So really feel your heart draw forward through your arms and then just relax it wherever you find it. And then just close your eyes again. And so again, coming back into that fire element. In Chinese medicine, we see this as where we store our Shen or our spirit, this divine expression of a universal consciousness within our being. And we say that we're made up of three parts. Our Jing, which is like our flesh, what we inherit from our family, and then what we do in this lifetime to sustain this flesh. And then our Shen, which is our spirit quality. And then the third part is Qi. Now what's interesting is Qi is basically the combination of Jing and Shen. So as good as your Jing is, your genetics, what you do to look after yourself, then your Qi will be more. But then same for your spirit as well. And so quite often we forget that. We spend a lot of the time putting all our energy into making sure this body's okay and our physical structure is looking, looked after, which is incredible. So good that you do do that. 
but how many hours a day do you spend looking after your mind? And I'm just not talking about like doing math calculations or crosswords. I'm talking about looking after your mind from a mental, emotional point of view. So maybe nice little meditation practices or little moments just to give yourself space and to break, just to calm yourself down, to create stillness and find that place of center and balance again in your being. Take one more big breath in now. And big breath out. Now we're actually gonna marry this pose straight into our next one. So we're gonna come forward and roll into our back. So you're gonna need some cushions underneath the back of your heart now. So if you have them, amazing, grab something. So pillows or cushions, whatever you've got, it's perfect. And then maybe something for your head as well. So I'm gonna use a block but if you don't have a block, you can just keep bringing your torso up until your head starts to come a bit more towards the ground. This changes the pose slightly. We want to have the feeling like the center of our heart is really opening up. So ideally it's, it's underneath the back of the hearts like so. And then arms can be extended up above the head and you can create this like letter Y with the arms or you can just grab hold of the hands above the head. If your hands don't come quite close down to the ground, then you can place something underneath the hands, so some blocks or something like that. And then wherever you are, you're just gonna close your eyes again and land back into your heart space. A few clearing breaths just to get present. Mm. In Chinese medicine, we see each of the organs holding a particularly important point, place within the, the governmental system that is the body. And so, for example, the lung is like a prime minister, the spleen and the stomach is like the minister for food and grain. The kidneys is the minister for the waterways, all very important positions. We see the liver as the general, but then the heart is seen as the emperor. And um, as a lot of us have, have known, as if maybe we watch Game of Thrones or something like that, you see what happens when the, the king drops out of balance, suddenly the whole kingdom falls out of balance. And so each one of those other positions can easily be replaced, you could find something else for it, but when that center of the being, the emperor or the empress, falls out of balance, so does that kingdom as well. And so our job is to really find that balance in the heart center and really see this as the center of our being much more than that green smoothie that we think we're going to have, how much meditation you're going to do. Maybe less delicious green smoothies, maybe not too many less, they're still good. And then maybe a little bit more meditation in our life.
Mm, let's take one more big breath in. And breath out. Mm, grabbing behind the head, so let's do this very carefully. Bring the chin to the chest, and then bend your left knee and roll to that right hand side. Rolling straight onto the right hand side, bolster underneath the head or something. If you want to lie on your back, also a great option as well. And then just close your eyes here. Mm. You really feel that sensitivity, that feeling of vulnerability in the heart space. Feel yourself cracking that heart space open, letting go of all those thoughts that tell you why you shouldn't exist here, why you can't live here, why you can't fall in love with yourself in this moment. No need to change it. No need to change yourself. No need to act out or experience yourself in any way. Just in the pure easiness of this moment, learn to commune with your heart. And take a big breath in. And breath out. I'm going to make your way up sideways. And we're going to come to actually just to lie back down onto our front. And so a little bit of propping needed for this. You can do this without props though as well. So bolster coming back. Now you may need a block over to the left hand side of your mat. And then that right arm is just going to come down onto the ground. And you're going to create like a, a like a cactus arm in that elbow and that elbow is going to go down onto the ground and the right side of the face is going to come down as well and then you're going to bring something cushions bolster something between your thighs and the idea is you want to try and have this left hip lifting to get the hips facing sideways and then maybe something for that shoulder as well so maybe a little block or something underneath that shoulder of course you can do all of this exactly the same you just have to use a little bit more energy perhaps to hold it and just make sure that right elbow is just above the shoulder so it's not coming too far back. It's forward enough and so it's above the shoulder but still getting this nice big juicy sensation across the front of the chest as well. And then as you close your eyes again come back into that beautiful experience of just that oneness again connecting with your own being. And it's this feeling of merging back into the infinite. Our heart space has this real alchemic quality and this ability to transcend separation. And this is because we come back into our truth, our center, our beingness. And that beingness is the oneness. And the oneness is everywhere at once. It's permeating every person, every living thing, every living creature in this planet. It's this ever expansive consciousness and we are a part of that like a drop in the ocean and just like when you put that drop of water back in the ocean it ceases to exist so too when we merge back into our oneness our feeling of being in our heart space that ego ceases to exist just momentarily and in this way we can allow this communing with our own heart to become a communing with all the hearts in the universe. And this is the alchemic quality, when the two become one, and not just in a sexual sense, in a feeling of transcending separation of individuality, to seeing the whole world as your brothers and sisters, but then more than that, to see the whole world as you. You are no different. Love yourself, love the world.
and take a big breath in now. And big breath out. Now, however you want to come out of this, we're just going to come to lie on our side body. So for me, I'm just going to allow myself to bring my right arm out in front of me. And then maybe something underneath the head like so. And just give yourself a little moment just to rebound again. Mm. And then take a full breath in. And full breath out. You're just going to roll over onto the other side. So, so simple. Just roll up to your front and then come into the other side. And then bolster between the thighs like so. And then the left arm will be out to the side. And then block underneath the right side of the sh shoulder. Now, coming into it like that, I'm just going to turn so I can see you guys. And so we should feel that left uh, side of the pec, left side of the chest, getting a really big juicy release now. And right shoulder is just lifting up a little bit. And again, just make sure your left shoulder is just above your shoulder, just a, sorry, your left elbow is just above your shoulder, just a little bit as well. And then just close your eyes. Move into that beautiful alchemic quality, that part of your being that's able to move beyond the ego just for a moment. And when our heart is working well, we have this ability for being this little center of, of, of sort of creating community around us, the ability to bring people together, to create oneness with those people around us, the ability for us to transcend the, the mundane and bring joy and bliss and happiness into every little part of this magical experience of life. Now, when our heart is not in balance, then what quite can happen is because we can't find this place of home, this place of center to come back to, then we start to fall out of balance more and more. We find it harder and harder to really find what is our thoughts and what are other people's thoughts, to see the difference between your thoughts and then everybody else's and in this way you start to take them on and then that sense of self starts to get lost and a really bad example of this a really extreme example of this is mm, psychosis like mania or schizophrenia or then even going into like severe severe depression and so how much time do we spend falling in love with our lives defining the center of our being here in the heart space
And then take one more big breath in now. And big breath out. You're just going to release yourself from this or removing the block. And then again, coming to lie onto your side. Maybe a block underneath your head, just releasing that arm. Find a comfortable position for it and just get present again. Hmm. Now we're going to make our way to come to our final release for today. So you're going to bring a bolster underneath your thighs, like so. Um, maybe you want something for your head as well. If you don't have a bolster, that's fine. If you have a bit of a tender back, soles of feet touching, knee spread wide is going to make it better for you. And then position for those hands, maybe your arms up like that. Maybe your shoulders have had enough. You just want to relax your arms down. We will come into a pranayama practice just to finish this off, to really help us get into our center, into our being. So you're going to bring your awareness into your belly. And so if you're having trouble really isolating the belly breath, then you can place one hand on the belly, one hand on the side of the ribs like so. If you're good with that, if you feel like you can really isolate the belly and not move the chest, then just feel free to relax your hands down. And we're just going to take deep abdominal breaths. So every time you inhale, expand that belly like a balloon. Chest doesn't move. As you exhale, belly button comes in towards the back spine. Good. You're going to keep that going. Inhale, expand the belly like a balloon. And then exhale, belly button comes in. Now the breath is full and deep, but relaxed and subtle. So no straining, no discomfort. I'm going to add a count to this. So as you inhale next time, inhale for a count of one om, two om, three om, four om, pause. And then exhale for a count of one om, two om, three om, four om, pause. Inhale, one om, two om, three om, four om, pause. And then exhale for one om, two om, three om, four om, pause. Keep that going. Keep coming back to your breath. Your mind will get distracted. Follow that breath.
we're going to move off our mat at some point and at that point we're going to move into our day and it's quite likely that there's going to be little things that come up for us that maybe bring us out of our center and so it's so important for us to bring our being back to this isness back to the oneness to find that place of home to fill yourself up to feel abundant to feel whole and then then you can share yourself with all those around you creating not only a light in your life but a light in everybody else's life as well and so for you maybe it's going to be something that fills you up maybe it's going for a walk around the block or maybe it's watching sunrise or sunset or maybe it's lying on the ground for you know five minutes doing abdominal breathing so it's going to be something that's going to bring you back home to yourself and when we do do that and it some point we can eventually move from our mat and put all everything we've learned into practice this ability to come home and to find your center your beingness to feel whole and able to share yourself with all those around you and to do that we need to find something that fills you up and it can't include anybody else not, not your family not your pets not your job it's got to be something just for you something that makes you feel complete and it could be a momentary thing like watching a sunrise or sunset or even lying on the ground for five minutes and doing abdominal breathing but something that brings you home to your center and in this way we can feel whole and complete and then not only be the light in our lives but it'll be a light to the world as well as you not only you can commune with your own heart but with all those other hearts around you as well Let's take a big breath in and big breath out. And then as you inhale, extend your arms up above the head, point your fingers, point your toes, big stretch, get long through your body. And as you exhale, draw the knees up into the chest, a little windscreen wipe of those knees from side to side, and then just roll over to one side. Take a big breath in and out here. And then push yourself up sideways, come up into a comfortable seated position, palms together in front of the chest in prayer. Take a big breath in here. And big breath out. Inhale to chest. Namaste, yogis. Always a pleasure to have you. If you'd like to keep in contact with me, um, you can always find me on Instagram at Truth Robinson. If you would like to train with me or do some workshops with me, um, or you'd like to donate to support this, this YouTube, or maybe even like to buy a, a Living Yin uh, singlet, also available as well, you can go to livingyin.com and all the information is there. But otherwise, have a, a beautiful day, night, evening, whatever you're up to, and I will see you next time.